Hi guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel, Kodiz Arcade. This is Nisirka. In today's video, I am going to talk about built-in data structure that is tuple. So in my previous class, I explained you guys about list write, list and its built-in methods. Right, and in today's video, I am going to talk about tuple and I will also tell you guys what is the main difference between tuple and list and I will also explain you a simple program on tuple. So without any further ado, let me get into the topic. So what do you mean by tuple guys? Tuples are used to store multiple items in a single variable. So lists are also used to store multiple items in a single variable. But lists are mutable, tuples are immutable. Mutable means we can change the value here. I explained you guys about built-in uh, methods, right? Like append, reverse, clear. So we can change the value. That means mutable. Tuple lists are mutable. We can change the value. We can modify it. But tuple is immutable. We cannot change or we cannot add the any value or item. So tuple is immutable. And tuple is always enclosed with round brackets or common brackets or parentheses but lists are enclosed with square brackets which I explained in my previous class and also as I said before list we can change the value in list that means it provides many building methods like append, clear, reverse, pop like this so on but in tuple we have very less building methods like count and line function index that's it so and one more difference is that when it comes to memory consumption list consumes more memory and tuples consumes less memory and also one more difference is that tuples operations are very safe as compared to list tuple operations are very safe because we don't do any modification in tuple so to have a clear idea about this tuple, let me explain you guys a simple program on tuple. So this is a simple program on, on tuple. So this is tuple variable. As I said before, this is enclosed with parentheses that is common brackets. And this is element Python, Java, C++, so coding and testing so here in tuple the very important thing is after each element you guys are supposed to give comma here otherwise python won't recognize this as a tuple right for example here you can see here a is equal to manual testing and print type of a and here i gave comma right now it will be showing class tuple. Yes, see here class tuple. If I remove this, if I remove this comma, the output will be class str. It becomes string, right? Yes. What do you mean by string? Anything which is written inside the code, right? Either it might be double quotes or single code. So this becomes string. So now if I give comma here, now this becomes tuple class tuple it belongs to class tuple so tuple in tuple after each element you are supposed to give comma here so python java c++ coding testing okay and after that like list tuple also stores different data types like float integer this is float this is integer and this is boolean and this is string so tuple also stores different data types and this is index as i said in my previous class index starts from zero so this python has zero index java has index one and this is index two three four now java is in index one so output will be one right yes see here one this is one. Now, len of tuple. What is this len of tuple? 
len function means to determine how many items a tuple has we use this len function just to determine how many items this tuple has so how many items we have 1 2 3 4 5 so output will be 5 right yes it is 5 see you 5 and next tuple dot count so this count method means it returns the number of times a specified value which appears in the tuples number of items number of times a specified value appears in the tuple so how many numbers here coding if i say here coding coding So now coding coding we have coding two times right coding and coding so the answer to this count coding so if I run this program the output is yes it is 2 now it, the len of function is 6 right this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 and here coding is repeated twice so that's why it is in the output we are getting as 2 so count method returns the number of times a specified value that appears in the tuple and this is a simple program on uh, tuple guys and we don't have built-in methods like list when it comes to tuple so in list we have so many built-in methods like pop, append, clear, reverse, right? But here in tuple we don't have many built-in methods. So these are the few built-in methods that I explained to you guys right now. So this is about tuple guys. Stay tuned for my next video. And also please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And press the bell icon for future updates. Thank you.